everyone and welcome back to the Pumpkin Patch and welcome back to Days of Halloween in this very special crossover episode with Haunt Story Inn. Ooh. That's right, we are actually out going to a haunted house tonight, but not only are we going to a haunted house, we are going to a haunted car wash. Ooh. And because we are going to a haunted car wash, uh, we decided to theme tonight's episode to go with the appropriate thing. Uh, which you may be asking, are there haunted car wash movies? No, no, not really. Uh, at least not that I'm aware of. Uh, are there haunted car wash? Are there haunted car wash movies? Haunted car movies? A haunted car movies? Which we almost did. But uh, no, this is the second haunted car wash that we've been through this year. So we decided to cover all sequels for this particular one. So hope you guys enjoy the episode. Uh, let's get to the spooky sequels. Let's do it. Or the haunted car wash movie. Is that a thing? All right. One of the picks for today is going to be. Hang on, I'm driving because we're doing this while we're in the car waiting for a haunted car wash. <laughs> yes. Uh, my pick for today is going to be Happy Death Day to You, the long anticipated sequel to Happy Death Day. Honestly, maybe not long anticipated by many people, but definitely long anticipated by me. I love Happy Death Day 1, and I really love, I really love Jessica Roth's performance in Happy Death Day 1, and so I was really looking forward to Happy Death Day to you. So, two thumbs up, give it a watch, has some sci-fi elements, I think you'll love it. I know I do. My pick for today is the 1987 film uh, Evil Dead 2, directed by Sam Raimi and starring Bruce Campbell. Brilliant horror uh, comedy that is the sequel, of course, to Evil Dead. Oh, and this one is now Bruce Campbell as Ash is front and center, doing the best horror comedy you'll ever see, some of the best physical acting you'll ever see. Great visual effects all, all around. Just a hilarious and scary, and at times still scary film. So yeah, true classic all around. And a sequel that I'm quite frankly surprised the original. <laughs> the movie that I'm going to cover today, my spooky sequel, is going to be Hellboy 2, released in some point in the 2000s. I have no idea where it is. I don't have access to any notes. So, because I'm here to get scared, I'm not here to do movie research. Hey, whoa, what's going on here? Whoa, what is this? We got a, we got a, we got a clown. Hey, 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 get your own Prius. Get out of here. Get out of here with that noise. Hellboy 2. Uh, doesn't pick up where Hellboy 1 left off. It takes place a couple years later. Uh, it's an amazing movie because you have Ron Perlman as Hellboy, and that is one of the best castings uh, ever in the history of movies. And I love that movie, and I love Hellboy, um, and I love Ron Perlman as Hellboy. Um, also, that movie, you get Doug Jones as Abe Sapien. Uh, completely, he actually gets to use his own voice. Uh, not that dude from Frasier. It's, it's all him, and it's great. And I highly recommend that you watch it. Uh, so, watch it. And our selection, for the uh, next movie is Escape Room 2. Escape Room 2. None of us have seen it yet. We, had, we, ha we haven't seen the movie, but we all watched Escape Room 1 together. We all are tentatively planning to watch Escape Room 2 in it. It stars some people, um, it stars some rooms, and it should star some escaping as well. Hopefully. Yeah, we, I mean, fingers crossed. Wheatley and James and I have a tradition of watching several escape room themed movies together and so we definitely would like to do that again so that's our that's our fourth movie one two three four spooky sequels and now it's time for some spooky car wash Ooh. and our selection uh, for the halloween and other media goes to justice league dark apocalypse war which is a sequel to justice league dark you know in 2020 you can find it on atm maps it's awesome. And do you like it when your DC animated heroes possibly turn evil? Then maybe maybe you'll find out what happens in Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. It is a very exciting animated adventure. Uh, love most of the DC animated universe that we've ever seen. We've seen pretty much all of them between the three of us. I think there's some horror elements that, that horror fans will enjoy. And yeah, we're covering another DC animated film. There's no zombies that aren't called zombies, though. So yeah, no, no that. not. No foreign language films in this list. No, and guess what? Also, no one goes in the woods. <laughs> but we highly recommend it. Uh, all three of us 
Uh, love the DC animated universe. Uh, so highly recommend that you check that one out. Yes, definitely. And that does it, Pumpkin Patch, for this episode of Days of Halloween, the Haunt Story Edition. And an episode of the sequels. Exactly. After we went to Spooky Car Wash Part 2. The haunted car wash uh, that Sonic Suds ran tonight was fantastic, too, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah. It was awesome. Absolutely far better than any haunted house thrown into a car wash has any right to be. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. True. It's true. So much fun. So we enjoyed it thoroughly, and we hope that you enjoyed this episode thoroughly. Be sure to click the free, so like, share, and subscribe this uh, video if you can. Uh, so feel free to stalk us on all the social media sites. Honestly, if all you ever do is watch these videos, we love you and we appreciate you. Thank you so much. And please make sure that you uh, stay tuned to the Fall Horseman channel for the adventures of Haunt Storian as we go out and hit haunted houses across the country. Yes. We have interviews with haunt owners uh, and we just celebrate all things haunted house, which is what Days of Halloween last year happened to be about. Yes. But now we're able to go out and do it ourselves. So, but thank you for watching, and thank you for riding with the Fall Horsemen. Where Halloween lives, and Fall is forever. <laughs>